Hey guys, Beast is back with a brand new tutorial on how to stream using OBS. What? And not only that, but I'm gonna teach you how to stream with that settings for you. Yes, you, the one watching. Since streaming is dependent for each individual's computer specs and the upload speed, I decided to make this tutorial for the purpose of teaching you how to make the best quality for specifically you. So let's head right into it. Open your OBS. Let's make a stream profile for this video. And after I do that, let, let's go to settings. In general, of course, you can set up the language you want, the theme, and many other options like streaming confirmation before start streaming. Believe me, I have went live by accident before. But anyway, each one and his own preferences. Okay, now let's go to the streaming tab and choose the service you want to broadcast to. And then insert your key. Your key is very important, so don't show it to anyone or they will be able to stream on your channel. For Facebook, there is no server options, but for YouTube and Twitch, there are. For YouTube, go with the primary one. Anyway, if you found it to be not good, you can try the other, but usually it's fine. And for which, Twitch, usually you need to choose the closest server for you on the list, but there is another way to find out which is the best for you but I already discussed that in another video so you might as well check my other video to see which server is best for you on Twitch if you are interested. And for those who don't know how to find your key I will show you how to get it on YouTube, Facebook and Twitch. And if you are using any other streaming service it's usually not that hard to find your key to stream but anyway you can still ask me in the comment below. For YouTube you need to go to your channel where there are the video manager, analytics, and all that crap. Go to the live streaming tab, and in the encoder setup, press on reveal, where it says stream name slash key. For Facebook, go to your page, publishing tool, video library, click on live, and there you can find your stream key. And for Twitch, go to your dashboard, settings, stream key, show key, and when you press on I understand, it will show you your stream key. Okay, after we've put the stream key, now let's go to output. Let's put advanced in the output mod, because we are advanced. <laughs> in the encoder, you need to choose x264 if you, if you have a powerful CPU. For me, I have an in, uh, Intel i7, so I go with this option. If you don't have a powerful CPU, you might go with the other option, so it's less pressure on the CPU and might give you a better quality. But if you have a good CPU, X264 is the way to go because it is the better quality in that case. Red control, choose CBR because most, if not all, streaming platforms requires you to have it on CBR. Now for the bitrate, you need to know what your upload speed and use maximum 80% of your upload speed here. And it's because you need to keep room for other stuff than your stream. Like your game, for example, everything uses the upload speed. But streaming is the biggest one. That's why we keep 20% for other stuff. Or maybe if your upload speed dropped a bit, you don't want your... Uh, a streaming stream to start stutter and lag for other or drop frames so always maximize it at 80% of your upload speed if you don't have that high upload speed if you don't know what's your upload speed go to speedtest.net or any other service you know and check your upload speed I will leave a link in the description if you want to go and check your upload speed using speedtest.net sorry Pause the video and come back when you have the number. Now here is what you need to know. To maximize your quality and resolution, you need to see how much bitrate you can afford to put in here. 
Now I will put on the screen different numbers so you can check which one suits you. For 240p, you need between 300 to 700 bitrate. For 360p, you need from 400 to 1000 bitrate. For 480p, you need from 500 to 2000 bitrate. 720p, if it's at 30 fps, you need from 1.5 mega to 4 which is 1,500 to 4,000 bitrate. For 720p at 60 FPS, you need bitrate from 2,250 to 6,000. For 1080p, you need from 3,000 to 6,000. And if you want 1080p with 60 FPS, you need from 4,500 to 900. Uh, sorry to 9000 and uh, there are more if you care you can just look at them at the screen but these are the most used I guess for especially for streaming so yeah for me my upload speed is 3.29 but this number fluctuates so I assume it is 3 megabits so 80% of the 3000 is 2400 so for me, if I am streaming, the, the best quality I can have is 720p at 60fps because I fall right into this range. You can choose which of the ranges applies to you and do accordingly. If you don't want to set up the stream settings right now, you can save the video and come back later when you are ready to do so. And don't forget, if you have high upload speed, don't go more than 1080p with 3500 bitrate unless you know the provider like YouTube gives you options to people with lower bandwidth to be able to lower the quality so the video doesn't stutter or lag for them. You don't want to make the quality too high if users don't have the options to lower quality. Like if you are not partnered with Twitch, people with low download speed might have some trouble watching your stream because they can't adjust the quality and the video will stutter for them. Now, for the keyframe interval, set it at 2 because almost all the streaming services either recommend it or demand it to be at 2. CPU usage preset, the higher it is, the less CPU usage and less quality, the lower it is, the more CPU usage and more quality. But, don't play with that, usually faster or very fast are enough. Just keep it at default because OBS chooses the best for you. If you try to play with it and you don't understand what you're doing, you might burn out your CPU. For profile, main, and audio, it really depends, but 128, all services accept that, 128. Some accept more than that, but in any case, don't go more than 190 because, to be honest, more than 190 is overkill. Okay, now basically everything else is like we set it up for the recording. If you haven't watched my video for the best recording settings, then you should definitely watch that out. But let's go fast on the other options. In the audio, you want the sample rate to be as your mic, 44.1 or 48k, depending on yours. As I've showed you how to do that in the recording settings video. Channels, stereo, Desktop audio device default unless you purposely don't want that. Uh, mic device, of course, whatever you're using. I'm using Razer and you choose yours. This stuff is preference and they are pretty much self-explained. But in any case, if you still have any question, ask me in the comment section below. And I'm very active with my viewers and try to answer each single one of you. Now for the video, the base resolution is what your screen resolution is and the output resolution is very important. For me, because I showed you I'm going to stream with 720p at 60fps, that means I can't keep it at 1080p, otherwise it will lag, skip frames or stutter, so choose the resolution accordingly. Now the downscale filter is basically if you didn't change your resolution you can choose bilinear. Bilinear means that the same canvas and the output are the same. 
uh, if you did like me and downscaled it, you choose Bicubic. And as for the third option, it's just up to you. You can try to stream with the third option and see if it is better or not for you, but usually choose as I said and it should be fine, either by linear or by cubic. FPS value also depends on what I've showed you, whatever suits you, like for me 60 FPS. But let's say for example I want 1080p with 3500 bitrate, I would choose 30 FPS. This stuff is preference and they are pretty much self-explained, but in any case, if you still have any question, ask me in the comment section. And lastly, in the advanced tab, process priority above normal, renderer direct 3D 11, or if you have an AMD graphics card, you can choose the OpenGL, color format NV12, color space 709, and color range full. And everything else have it as it is on default. And I think that's it. So now go and start streaming. If you found it helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to get notified when my next video is up. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer your questions. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. See ya.